Now this is an interesting little environmental sensor. Hey, what's happening guys? What we have got here is the Metrifull MS430 environmental sensor. Now this is um, a Kickstarter project by Metrifull and it reads air quality, volatile organic compound pollution, temperature, air pressure, humidity, sound noise, sound frequency band, uh, air particles with an add-on uh, particulate sensor, light illumination, and level of white light. So there is quite a lot going on here, but if you notice these two wires right here, it's all communicating over I squared C. So let's take a better look at this little module here. So here's a better close-up view of the sensor. And you can see here we have our sound sensor, our light sensor, air quality, temperature, and humidity. And then we have our hookups over here. The, um, this is the, our particulate sensor, PRT. We also have interrupts that this can send an interrupt out for either light or sound or I squared C hookups and then some voltage it can work on either 3.3 or 5 volts so that's pretty cool and then we also have this uh, external PPD 42 particulate sensor which just requires 5 volt ground and it sends an output to the sensor which is sending it to the Arduino and we will take a look at that in just a minute. So we're taking a look here at the website metrofool.com and it gives you an idea about the sensor here. There's some information on size 32 and a half millimeters by 18.3 millimeters. Some of the things it can measure and it tells you that we can go over to the GitHub page, which we'll do that in just a minute. But I want you to see this, like I said, this is a Kickstarter. And if we come down here to orders and shipping, you will see that they are currently only accepting add-on orders. So it's not ready yet, but as soon as it will be, if you just go up here to metrofull.com and if they let me know when it's available, I will let you know when it's available and then we'll all know when it's available. So if we go over here to the GitHub page, you can just click here on code and download it and you'll get uh, some code for both the Arduino and the Raspberry Pi, which is what I've done. Now we can also go over here and take a look at a live dashboard that is uh, out on a cloud. And we'll see what we get here. This is the Tago IO dashboard. There we go. So you can see how you can output this this data, which is uh, can be quite useful. I'll put it over an Internet of Things device and it can be readable from just about anywhere. So let's uh, take a look at the code here. This is the Arduino uh, sample code that I downloaded from their GitHub. And it's called uh, Cycle Readout INO. Just, it just goes through the different things. You can set it for 300 or 300 seconds. I'm doing 100 seconds, so it's reading just about every two minutes. The uh, libraries you need are included there on the GitHub. And then it just comes down here, it reads your air data, air quality data, light data, sound data, particulate data. And all we need to do is open up a serial port over here. And there you can see our data. It is 27.8 degrees Celsius with a pressure of 99. 99,396 pascals, humidity is 60.4%, and it's raining like crazy outside. Our gas sensor resistance is 219,000 ohms. Our air quality index is good. Estimated CO2 of 500 ppm. 
breath VOC is 0 0.5 ppm. Air quality accuracy is not valid. Needs a calibration, but I don't know how to do that because I haven't found the instructions for that yet. Luminance uh, 2161 lux. White level is 38.831. And then we have some information on sound. Our sound pressure level with my big mouth going is 60.4 dBA. And then it breaks it down into your individual frequency bands, 125 hertz, 250 hertz, 500, all the way up to 4,000 hertz. And then we have our peak sound. Microphone is initialized. And then we have our particle sensor, which is apparently not reading anything. But this looks like a cool little device. And uh, when I get some more information on it, I will make another video. And we can check it out, have a look see what it has to say and uh, if you guys are interested I'll try hooking it up to the Raspberry Pi maybe we can do an IOT thing set it out on the dashboard I can set it up here in the uh, Learn Electronics Laboratory also known as my living room and we'll have a live uh, environmental sensor going on if you're so interested there's our second reading of the data which is uh, Interesting. Let's see if there's any changes. Yeah, see now we have some particle occupancy down here. You can see that we've got 0.93 and uh, 1,738 parts per liter. So that's interesting. Uh, change between light 2161, 2161. Little difference there. We're at 5.6 now. We were at 4.4 before. What about our peak sound? Peak sound before was 526. Peak sound now is 530. So yeah, sensor's definitely working doing this thing. Very cool. And our air quality index is good. So, neat little sensor. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to you guys for watching. A big thanks to Metrofool for sending this board out. I'll put a link down below where you can go to their site. Keep an eye on when it's available. And uh, big thanks to the patrons. If you're not yet a patron, please check out the patron page. Also, check out Teespring store. Get yourself a t-shirt, maybe one of our limited edition posters. When we reach 100,000 subscribers, those posters are gone and will never be available again. All right. That's it. I'm out. Peace.